So joining us live now on iFollow, uh, it's two points dropped at home, Mick, in a game that should have been wrapped up comfortably before uh, AFC Wimbledon got that late, late heartbreaking equaliser and it's finished 2-2. Yeah, one point game, uh, if you look at it on the other side of the coin, uh, which, which we needed four, five points to get us uh, out of this league. So one point and we'll, uh, if we put performance in like that over the next two games, we'll be fine. Thought we were brilliant today in terms of the possession, the chances we created, the way we moved the ball around. The game, in all fairness, could have been out of sight by half time, but we, we weren't clinic enough, clinical enough. That's my only criticism of the lads today. Uh, getting the final third, create all kinds of chances. I think it was 24, 25 shots on target on, or, or at the target. Uh, and we need to be a bit more clinical. I mean, you've said it is a point game, but it was clear disappointment on the players' faces as uh, the final whistle's gone and that goal's gone in at the end there because they knew that that was three points that should have been uh, in the bag and the lead restored Absol to five points. Absolutely, the yeah, absolutely. And it's my job now to uh, to get them up for Saturday. If we win on Saturday, we're in a great position. Uh, so it's my job, our job as a staff, to get the players up. They were disappointed, they're, they're on the floor a little bit in there, but we, we'll get them up. And as I said, if, if they keep putting in performances like that, we'll be fine. I mean, going through the 90 minutes, obviously an early goal for Elliot Lee, which is good for him. He's uh, you know struggled to find yeah. the goal uh, in recent weeks since coming back from injury. But uh, but what a ball that was, and a move from Andrew Shinney and Jack Stacey to set him up. Yeah, Jack and uh, Jack and uh, Shins have got a very very good understanding between them. They uh, they Shin, Shins can find them as he did on numerous occasions. Just not tonight, but through the season, he's. he's He's found them a lot of times, and Jack's been a massive, uh, massive assister in terms of goals for, for us this season. So now, but we, we should have built on that. We should have been, we should have built on that, and, and gone further ahead in terms of the chances we had and the, the way we played and the way we created chances. That's the only disappointing factor. And Wimbledon got a, a chance to get back into the game. James <coughs> Justin losing possession. The cross comes in. Joe Piggott, a free header, disappointed that uh, first of all losing possession and the man unmarked inside the area. Yeah, we had we had the ball in the corner, you know, we, we, and we loosely give it away. And uh, you know, uh, Wimbledon do get the ball in the box early. They've got two big strikers, Anson and Piggott, and the feed off those crosses. Uh, maybe the marking should have been better, should have been a bit tighter. But we were disappointed with, with the goals they scored. I think they had two shots on target and scored two goals. Uh, the scrapping for the lives, the, the, the work and the socks off to put us under a little bit of pressure towards the end. Uh, but I think, uh, I think overall we, we, we could have dealt with a bit better and managed the game a little bit better. Got back into the lead though in the first half. A delightful free kick from James <laughs> Justin and James Collins is there to, to nod home. Powerful header from close range. Yeah, great ball by JJ. Thoroughly deserved uh, in terms of where we were in, in the stage of the game. In general, I thought we were dominant throughout. Uh, and. That was a nice and on the cake to get a set piece goal uh, for James. He got on the end of a great cross. Yeah, yeah, a good goal. And I thought we should have went on then and, and won the game comfortably. I mean, Wimbledon have cleared two off the line in the first half a Luke Berry header and Elliot Lee turn and shot. Um, you know, you thought it could have been more comfortable going into half time and uh, put the game to bed. But there's that many incidents, there's that much uh, goal mouth action, that much of the ball flying around in the six yard box. It's hard to remember all of it in, in terms of uh, without without looking back. But I mean, on chances created in position we got in, we, we should have won the game, but we didn't. Look, we, 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 I'm not going to criticise these bunch of players. They work the socks off. The, the way they move the ball and they get themselves in the, in the goal scoring positions is excellent. And we keep doing that. And Kazenga had a through one on one as well. The keeper's made a block and then he's made a great save in the second half from a James Justin strike that was destined for the top corner. Oh, he's a good goalkeeper, Ramsdale. Uh, I watched him when he was at Sheffield United as a kid. Uh, he's a proper goalkeeper and he's going to be a top goalkeeper. And he needed to be on top form tonight as he was. Because uh, if he wasn't, we would we, we, uh, run out a, a higher score than we did in the two goals. But uh, <clears throat> no, he, he, he was probably our man of the match, I guess, this evening, yeah. Mm. There was a controversial moment in the second half. Uh, Kazenga seemed to get round the back of the uh, defender and brought down inside the box. Your thoughts on well, that Well, it, it, it was a penalty, absolutely a penalty. We, 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 I've seen it on the, on the rerun in there and it was a penalty. Was, I think initially it was a penalty, then Kaz has made a slight bit of a meal of it at the end, but initially he has pulled him back. So now that's another one the referee missed and on, on the evening's performance from the referee, I thought. I thought it was pretty poor in all fairness. I mean, that could have made it 3-1. <coughs> Obviously, we've got to score the penalty. It could have been 3-1 and uh, going on to it. But late, late in the game, you've made a couple of changes. Monko and Cornick coming on and looking fresh and lively and more chances created. Jack Stacey won <coughs> man of the match and 
has had one off the bar. Luke Berry's tried to Gazaresque stretch at the far post and missed it. I mean, it's so frustrating then to then concede deep into injury time, which is very much unlike Luton this season. That's exactly what it is. You know, the, the, we, the defend manfully as a man, as a back four, as, as a midfield. We, we, we work on defensive strategies and, and they and they don't let many goals in, in terms of that. So there was a, there was a bit of a disappointed dressing room in there in terms of letting that late goal in. But when you look at it, maybe we could have managed the game a little bit better in the last five to ten minutes. Uh, not, not flooded people forward on the attack uh, and, and, and just sat in there and took it on the chin a little bit. But, but we didn't. Uh, we wanted to try and finish them off. Uh, so uh, we, we'll take it on the chin and, and move on. And as you say, it's a case of picking up the team now for the trip to Burton on Saturday where picking up three points uh, really does try and cement that position once more. Yeah, we, we'll do it. We'll, we'll pick them up, no problem. They'll be up for it. A, a, a magnificent group of players. Uh, this will be a bit of a setback, but we, 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 I'm highly confident that those boys will be ready for Saturday. Thanks very much, mate. Pleasure. Cheers. Pleasure.